all to do with um, the consistency of it. If I finish training sometimes, I want to go home. Right. You know, so I'm done. Like, right, 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 I don't right. want to have to do 30 minutes right. cardio. Right. You know, I just exerted myself to the fullest in my weights. Then. But then when I have switched it now and started doing um, cardio before, it's like I'm, I, I finish cardio and I'm still got all the energy ready to smash weights. And I don't lose strength either. You know what I'm saying? I got it. Yeah. And, and it's done as well. Right. So once I finish my, my weights training, I'm done. I can grab my bag and go home. But there's always that, the burden of, ah, uh, like, I'm, I'm training. It's like, shit, yeah. I've got half an hour cardio to do, man. Yeah. So it's like, do I really go ham on this, this next couple sets when I still go and do That's cardio? True. You know? You'll be like, yeah, I've been training Look, tw 20 years. Everything been, fine. I played I've been basketball. Playing, <laughs> Bro like, I've been broke playing my ankle. Sports, college, everything for yeah. all my life. I never, I never broke anything until I pick up basketball. Damn. One game. See? It didn't get right for one year. My foot. Ah, oh, damn. Fractured it. Yeah. I tell people that um, cardio can be anything, man. So I'm glad you, you're sharing that. Because people don't yeah. realize, man. They're like, oh, I don't want to do stair master. I don't want to do treadmill. That's boring. Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course, it's boring for some people. But then and you can hit sport. Like, go, go get a, a racket and um, play. Oh, yeah, that'll kill you. You know, tennis or go, go do something. You know, there's loads of other activities that you will thoroughly enjoy. They'll get your heart racing, right. you know. Like, Racquetball will kill you. Yeah, big time. <laughs> big time, man. Yeah, you got to put some, some width and some fitness. I don't, don't want to be able to just be lifting up a body. Yeah. And my legs look small that day. Yeah. I want my legs to look good. I don't know what I'm saying. You're like, nah. You got, I got to go hit some extensions. Chance, I got to wear pants today. Pump. Yeah, let me do some lunges here quick. <laughs> What's good, people? Simeon Panda here with yeah. Josh Bailey. So, I, guys, I know you guys good. have been What's asking good? for this, actually. You've probably good? been waiting to see us collab and hit a session, and we're about to do that, man. We just had cardio, a little 10, 15 minutes, nothing crazy, just to get the blood flowing. And yeah, we're gonna smash a big back workout. You're gonna hear from both of us about our training styles, our history with training, and just everything, man. General yeah. chit chat, man, you know? Put so, down, man. Have a good one. looking forward to it, man. Let's get it. What, what's your training split like? Just single body parts, man. Single? Yeah, it's literally- it's all chest. Chest, back, um, legs is twice a week. Yeah, yeah. And it's split between Hand hamstrings thing. and quads. Yep. Yep. Uh, shoulders, there's an arms day, and there's a miscellaneous Saturday with anything, man. It's like whatever yeah. I feel like doing. If I want to just do abs and cardio, I'll do that. Wow. Yeah, I, I can go in and do a chest and back. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. That's a hard day. Yeah, that's a hard day, man. <laughs> a good day, though. Yeah, it's a, a good, good day pump. and a stupid pump. Every day? Yeah. I hate to say it's leg. It's <laughs> the <laughs> best day, man. It's the best day, man. You can have the most fun on the legs day, man. The shoulders is good, but chat, I mean, when I get the legs, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's the game, best day. game yeah. time. Yeah, man. Always has been. In yeah. fact, it started off with a love hate. It was, like, it was the worst day, but the absolute best yeah. day. Like, you, you, don't, you don't get as much fun. I think I'm still there with that. I'm serious with the worst day. <laughs> no, I think I'm past that now, man. I'm part like, I, I remember it being a, a, a dread thing, like, damn, yeah. my legs, man, Today. really? <laughs> like, really? But then you'd have a, a good session. But now it's like, oh, legs, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, let's, let's, let's go. Yeah. Although there's one exercise that is pissing me off and just like, and it's making me do have that dread. It's Bulgarian split squats. Oh. I can't stand it, but I have Every to time. do it. I have to do it, but it hurts so bad. <laughs> it hurts so bad, man. And it's mad, because you're putting the pain on yourself. No one's it, asking it, you to do it. Every time. It's, it's way back when. And um, 
I've got five plates between my legs. And pull ups? No, doing uh, dips. Yeah. That's how yeah. I do. Savage, yeah. Oh my God. Savage. <laughs> but like, at that age, you're just like, wow, I'm strong. Let me yeah. see yeah, okay. yeah. what I can do. You yeah. know, so you just keep, keep and, and your body is obviously so malleable and the repair process is like that and Much you fast. just can't really get injured. Right. Like when you, I remember younger, like I'll, I'll throw up weights without warm up. 20s. Yeah, 20s. just throw it up, you know? Ectomorph, Ecto, yeah. You know, when I when I think about my, my structure. Yeah. You know, but then certain things in the ectomorph category don't fit me. So you can be a little bit of both. Yeah, because my, my, my metabolism is on fire. Yeah. Like, in fact, it slowed down as I got older, but when I was younger, I was shredded and I did not one bit of cardio. Yeah, yeah, you didn't, didn't, even, didn't even look at it. But you both. You know? So, um, yeah, I've had traits of both, you know, and putting on muscle. I've never had an issue with as well. Right. And I don't think ectomorph, that, that fits the ectomorph category. Mesomorph is. Mesomorph, yeah. yeah. You know? So, so but, you, but you ate and you trained and you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The, it's more like the cooking, it's not nutrition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm not mean? even, no, no, no. Yeah. When I say talking about the food, we're not talking fitness. I'm talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen food. you cook food, food, I wanna know. Yeah. How'd um, you get into it? Like, you, started, you have a real passion I for it. I started young, you know, with yeah. uh trade school and high school. Okay. So one day yeah. school, one day. A culinary. Yeah, yeah, culinary. Yeah. Awesome. And then, I mean, I love food. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just went from food to looking at all the chefs. Yeah. And all the chefs were pretty fat. Yeah. So I was like, I can cook, but I ain't gonna cook like them. Okay. Flour, butter, and everything. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I love food, but I think uh, I think that would be that would maybe take over. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's nice, man. It's nice to have more passion, like to, to have, you know, people think that we just lift. Yeah. And that's it. That we don't have other passions, you know? Got loads of passions, man. And for me, cars is my passion. Cars. Always has been. It's funny, I was talking to uh, my friend yesterday and I said, there's different car people. There's, um, cause like, you know, buying a, a flash car like a Lamborghini, cause you have certain people that I reached a certain amount of money, yeah. so I bought this car. Yeah. Then you have other actual car enthusiasts that it's, no, I love everything about cars. I've dreamt about this car or cars of this caliber. You know, I've always loved them. Whether I could afford them or not, I would always right. love them. Do you get right. what I mean? So yeah. for me personally, I'm from that school of, school of thought. I've loved cars and speed and powerful engines, etc. since I was a kid. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Reading friggin Guinness Book of Records uh, about the fastest train, the fastest plane, the fastest uh, supercar. Back then it was a McLaren F1, which friggin put me on the, I, I need to own a McLaren one day. I think kind I drove of thing. one of those. You know, say again. It was faster. It was the fastest car. Yeah, yeah, it was the fastest car. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So um, I was trying to say that, yeah, because there's, there's different categories of there's people. There's people that they get to a certain amount of wealth and it's like, I'll buy a supercar. It's about it. But for me, it's nice. It's, it's, it's yeah. a passion. Yeah. I love it. That's why I do things like track days, rallies, tune the cars. Like, you, you race? A little yeah, bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like all of that. Bro, I'm, I'm fully involved. I, I, like, I went on a race one time. Fully involved. I almost threw up. <laughs> Serious. The yeah, track, no, that track, the track, mean, is, the track is, the track is. It wasn't just circles though, it was, it was unrelenting. here, yeah, of slow. Course, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. It's the biggest thrill you'll ever get. Yeah. And, and to be honest, like rallies as well is the biggest thrill ever. Yeah. But yeah, people just think it's, it's just like lifting and that's it. You, know, you can, don't do can, anything can else, you, fit, you know? You fit good in the Lambo? <laughs> Say again? You fit good in there? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you would as well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you do a lot of drop sets? They're not frequent, but I do them. Do some. It just depends on the day. Are they necessary? Are they necessary? I think you have to have some sort of intensity uh, factor in your training, be it drop sets, be it supersets. Yeah. Like there has to be something that makes you work, man. Right. You know, like you can't just coast through it all just doing your sets and your nice little bit of rest every now and then. You got, you know, so even like with bench press, doing some pause reps, just something that some, ups the intensity. Some variation you know? to change it up, yeah. Let 
You know, you're one of the goats in the fitness game. I appreciate it. You're doing it. the longest, man. So I've been doing this for at least 10 years of training. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I feel like, you know, people just, you gotta stay consistent. You never know where, where you go, where it take you, what you're gonna look like in five years, 10 years from now. 100%. It's through like, injuries, um, through everything. You one just, of the interesting things that people used to say was uh, there was a lot of talk about genetics. And genetics, of course, plays a huge role. Yeah. But I used to say this to people, and, and people used to, people always, it's, it's always black and white with people. They don't get it. I'm not saying genetics doesn't have a significant factor in how your physique pans yeah. out. But you're not going to know until you start right. and, 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 and put the work in over a period of time. Right. You know, and that's the bit that the disconnect with them. Because right. I, I, I was trying to say to people that I didn't know what my genetics held. It's over years, 10 years, 15 years that it came to, to, came, came to fruition. So when you're making excuses when you haven't started, that's very lame. Do you get right. what I mean? Right, of course. It's like if, if you're making excuses about these people have genetics, these people, and you haven't even started, that makes no sense because right. you can come and sit next to me as a 15 year old and you're not going to say everything you're saying to me. Right. But I don't know what I got until I right. get in. So we can both get in, get in and, and, and work at it and see where we go. So we talk or about one of us can just sit there and chill and say, ah, look, it's, it's probably genetics. Because <laughs> let's be real, none of us, well, you, there are some people <laughs> where they actually do without ever touching a weight look like, <laughs> you know, but, but, but most of us, like none of us really are going to look like how we, we, we end up just from the beginning. Right. So how are you going to know? You've got to work, man. You've got to work. You've got to be consistent at it, be patient, and let it all come to fruition. What did you say? That sounds like what's on the wall. So that's how I've lived by that. Yeah. So, because if all, if all else, it started with my passion for training, that's me. Right. That's me. And I think, in, in, in fact, I managed to build my following was because of that. Because when I first started, the videos I put out, I was just gassed over training. Like, every session was beast mode. I was just, I was thriving, man. I was just yeah. loving my session. So I think people picked up on the passion. Right. Because like, I was passionate, like crazy about it. And then over the years, the consistency took place because yeah. now you see me five years, yeah. 10, 15, 20. I'm still right. here, still banging it out. And I right. still pretty much look the same. Passion is yeah. just your love for it, man. Your love. your love for it. You'll hear it when you speak to someone. Like I heard it when you were talking about your cooking. Yeah. It's like, you, you, even just a little shake of the head. It's like, it's, that's, 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 <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's right, like, that's, that's, that's real. That's, so that's you know, the, love. Yeah, that's love, yeah. you know? And the funny thing is, I'll tell you this. Like when I was training at the beginning, like look at like all this, I never planned any of it. Right. But for some reason, when I was training, I thought, this has got to be something, man. This has got to be something like, I'm good at this. I right. love this. Right. Like, I remember like, um, I posted this years back. I had uh, all the muscle and fitness mags uh, and I took a picture of them. You'd have to go like to the beginning of my, I got like 8,000 posts on Instagram. You'd have to go near the beginning to see it. But I had all the, the muscle and fitness mags in my, on my floor. I took a picture of it. And I said, I'm going to be on the cover one day. This is just me in my frigging one bedroom, just like nowhere near this, but mm. I knew, I was like, trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm involved in this. Like I'm going to mm. be on the cover. Years later, I'm on the cover. Speaking and it is, and, and it's, it's just, and you can call it manifestation, all that stuff, but yeah. it's literally just like passion, man. Right. Like it's like, I, I know I've got something and watch me. Right. Like, I, I, and, I, and yeah, it happens, you know? So like just having passion can freaking take you a whole, hell of a long way, but obviously it's got to be yeah. consistent, you know? Start light because I want to feel the movement and gotcha. perfect my form before going right. heavy. Like obviously we do these exercises all the time, but just that first set, I want to make sure that I, I, I get my form and then I'll continue that throughout. Gotcha. As opposed to if I just start heavy and it's all it's not on point, then it's, the rest is going to be even worse. Gotcha. <laughs> I think I think I, one of my it will be overhead press, like a barbell. Overhead press. I try to stay oh, away from snap, that. That's a fun exercise for me. I try. That's lower back too, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. But hard on lower back. I'm, I'm 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 nice with it. Or the other day I was doing a seated overhead. I I can go heavy and feel comfortable. No issues with my yeah. lower back with that. Seated yeah. is fine. Overhead is 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 hard. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's it. one of the hardest. In fact, yeah. it's the hardest standing press. press. Right. Yeah, like, not yeah. gonna beat that. Actually, no, 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 we spoke about Alan. Dumbbells. Over Dumbbells. Dumbbells. That's worse. No, dumbbell? Okay, military, yeah? Barbell. Or dumbbells standing. standing. They're both. Trust me, the dumbbells will humble you. They might. Like, for, for us, we were discussing it, and it's the only exercise where you can, you literally get lightheaded when you're doing heavy. Well, I'm talking yeah. about heavy, I'm not talking about, you know, just repping nicely. Right. I'm talking about when you're actually going for some weight, for like standing. you would on a military. Standing, it's, 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 it's hard, man. I got I got That makes again. me dizzy. Yeah. It's, it's hard. It's hard. And I'm not talking single arm either. Single arm, we talk, spoke about that. That's, that's different. Sing, single arm is easier. I did single arm is easier. Yeah. Now I'm not yeah, talking yeah. single. That single, was... it's like you can even rest it right. here. Right. And then bang, rest. When you're doing double, you have to finish your set. Yeah, I got <laughs> I haven't done double in a while. I need to do standing double. <laughs> these light for a squeeze or you go heavy? I start light and then I work yeah, up. Yeah. But yeah, I do want, I want to make sure my form's nice yeah. on these. I never go heavy where I'm losing form on these because it's pointless. Done. Hey. Dope back session. Yes, sir. Felt good. Hope you don't gain something from like the combo that we had and how we talked about, you know, the longevity in it, you know. Both got a number of years in the game. Lots to share in regards to training tactics and just the, the mental focus that you need to, 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 to you know, sustain it and, and, and um, be consistent with it, you know. So yeah. it's all about longevity, man, you know. Whatever you feel. Like you can do for a lifetime, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not just about, not just about the look, it's more the lifestyle, 100%. being healthy, 100%. you look good, you feel good. That's what I live by. 100%, so guys, subscribe to my guy's channel, let him know what the channel is. Josh Bailey. It's right there, you see yeah. it? Yeah. Subscribe, subscribe yeah. to me, tell your friends, loads of videos, friggin' playlists for everything. I'm gonna keep teaching you guys and keep going. Appreciate you guys, man. Peace. It's out.